Mangala Malu. Well, let's get straight to our first corporate that we're getting on the show, Neogen Chemicals. They have entered into an agreement with a Japanese company uh, to acquire technology to manufacture electrolytes for lithium batteries. Well, under the agreement, Neogen will obtain the license to manufacture up to 30,000 metric tons of electrolytes a year. My colleague Sonal got in touch with uh, Mr. Kanani, the managing director of the company, began by asking him about the details of this agreement and the kind of capex Neogen was planning on undertaking. Let's hear them out. So we've been working on this agreement like for last one and a half, two years, and we are very happy and excited that, you know, MUIS has chosen as Neogen, uh, Neogen as a first recipient of a license which they have given ever uh, for like, you know, this electrolyte production technology. They've been producing these electrolytes for almost 30 years, and they are one of the global leaders in this area. Uh, so we are very happy to get their technology. The technology license is basically a manufacturing technology license. So they are going to basically share the know-how. They are going to share the design of the plant and the process technology for making this. And the license is basically perpetual. That is once uh, up to 30,000 metric tons per annum production. So till the time the plant is making 30,000 metric tons per annum, uh, we don't have to pay any additional license fee. So it's a one-time license fee, which we'll have to pay in certain installments uh, as uh, subject to some, uh, uh, like subject to achieving some landmarks between the period when the plant is getting constructed or a period of next two years. But after once it's paid, then this uh, will be for perpetuity and if we have want any additional capacity increase, then we'll have to pay. Or if there is any technology upgrade from their side, we'll have to pay for that. Okay, interesting. So when you say these payments will be made basis some amount of, uh, you know, uh, levels that you reach or some sort of milestones, can you explain that to us, what those milestones are? And what is the license fee or any sort of royalty that you'll be paying to them as well? Uh, so, you know, the milestones will be basically just any project milestone. So in the beginning, there'll be some fees up front, then the design gets paid. And then, you know, when the entire process is over and the plant is ready. So it will be like in some two or three different milestone based payments we'll have to make. Uh, the royalty is not to be paid because this is mostly a manufacturing agreement. In addition to that, if we are using any of their uh, recipes, and basically, if one of our customer wants to use their recipes or something like that, then there will be a separate uh, agreement for the recipe and that will have a royalty component. Okay. I am trying my luck again, but I really wanted to know what the impact on your balance sheet will be, right? Because you are paying them something. So your investors would want to know what is the amount uh, that you are paying to them for this technology. So can you tell us that? And also, is it only for manufacturing to customers in India or do you have a market outside India as well for this? So, uh, you know, again, uh, this uh, what we'll be paying will be part of our CAPEX. So it will be part of the CAPEX which we'll be doing for Electrolyte since this is basically a manufacturing technology license. Of course, the royalty, if, you, if at all, subsequently, whenever we do uh, the Electrolyte recipes, that will be a separate and it will be negotiated at that point in time. Uh, in uh, reference to your, uh, uh, sorry, your second question was again, it was whether it is only uh, for the Indian markets or you can use this technology to export as well. Yeah, so, you know, electrolytes worldwide are basically always made locally uh, because, like, electrolytes require very difficult, uh, very low temperature, very uh, low moisture content, and also sometimes they need to be transported under temperature control conditions. So, under such conditions, you know, worldwide, most of the time, electrolyte is produced locally. So we also always shared that when we are talking of electrolyte solutions, we are mostly targeting the India market. So currently the license is only for India. If at all we have to do internationally, then we have to set up a plant also internationally, which currently we are not intending. Our electrolyte focus remains India. And therefore the license is also restricted for usage or to, to make electrolytes and sell within India. Okay, so it is within India only right now. So when you say it is out of your capex, so you had earlier said that 150 crore is the capex that you'll be making. How much of it will go in this particular agreement? So, you know, earlier we had actually shared around 450 crores of capex, which we are going to do uh, for setting up a 10,000 metric tons per annum capacity. Uh, that was on our own technology and on our own plant, uh, as well as in this 10,000 metric tons. 450 crore, both electrolyte as well as electrolyte salts 
were included so uh, now that you know we have already signed this agreement uh, this agreement is for 30000 metric tons per annum capacity so we will be discussing with our customers what is their requirement and based on the customer feedback we will decide whether it will be like a phase wise it will be complete also in next few months we will also understand the difference in like you know our own investment versus what investment is required for like the japanese technology in their plant because the plant design will be shared in more detail so once this detail is clear in next few months we will share our revised uh, electrolyte our revised electrolyte uh, investment uh, capacity as well as the investment uh, how it will be phased out and uh, this will be part of that got it got it take your point on that one um, what would the revenue potential be with this one this new product or the technology that you're taking up you'll be able to give it to your customers at peak capacity utilization you are saying that it will commence by fy25 um, what is the revenue potential here and will this be a margin accretive product for you so uh, you know we said uh, our estimate is that we will we are targeting to complete this by 2025 Uh, so it will be most likely FY26 versus FY25. 2025 is the calendar year. Uh, in terms of revenue, you know, we already guided that our estimate was to reach around 10,000 metric tons per annum. Uh, let's say by FY26, FY27, uh, by which we can get a revenue of around 1,000 to 1,200 crores. Mm. Uh, now with this agreement, we have to again review, discuss with our customers, and review our timeline. So as of now. we feel it will be similar to what we had announced earlier or better if uh, more customer agree to sign with us and if uh, the demand increases so it will be at least that much or more uh, but the revised number we can give once we have a more detailed uh, timeline for the project finalized as well as we have more feedback and clarity from our customers okay i get that point last question before i let you go because you uh, recently acquired bulai uh, chemicals as well that is for uh, your backward integration some technology that that company has now this agreement that you've entered into any more such plans or any such discussions that you're in which will already be a part of your announced capex or you will be incurring new capex uh, no so i think bulichem is uh, something which was more for a regular pharma and agro business uh so again that's something which we did because it's an opportunity which came uh similarly this is also in lines with what we have already announced where we had already announced that we are entering electrolytes for india focus it's only that this technology will allow us to make better quality and give more confidence to our customer on the safety and the quality of the commercially produced electrolytes so it was always in that line so similarly you know we already shared we are working on electrolyte salts as well as some cathode materials which we will do in future so these are something part of the battery supply chain which we keep considering uh, but as of now there are no specific announcement or any specific tie ups which we can uh, share or which we have planned all right so that's the management of neogen chemicals uh, saying that the license is only for the india market uh, refused to divulge a lot of financial details but importantly the street likes this partnership uh, the stock up 5% after having seen a move in yesterday's trading session as well with that we'll take a short break come back on the